Hey everybody, I know many of you have been asking for a church update, and while we don't have much to show, I figured I uh, would oblige and give you guys a quick preview of what we're working at here, uh, working with here rather. Uh, so as I turn the camera around, what you're looking at here is kind of our entryway. Uh, you'll see a couple things, double door uh, entryway into the studio, two bathrooms, there's a lot of spackle on the walls as we're fixing holes, and there's one green stripe of paint that has been started, and that's, that's pretty much it. So this entryway here, the double door entrance is kind of our uh, shipping receiving area type thing. And we walk through these double doors and we get our pretty sizable main studio slash office space. This area right here by itself is about 2,400 square feet, uh, which is more than 2,500 square feet, I think, twice as big as our, as our previous office combined. Uh, and you can see here, it's got really, really nice tall ceilings, not a lot of natural light, only like five windows in it up top, but that's okay considering uh, what we're going for here. They did leave us uh, one, two pews, as well as a piano. So if I feel like taking lessons, you know, I've got that, got that going for me. Uh, and this here was where the raised altar slash pew, or I'm sorry, raised altar slash platform was uh, that Alan and I tore out and uh, revealed a 10 foot by 10 foot concrete square that we have to fill. Uh, this will probably be here where Alan and I put our desks and, and testing facilities and stuff that we normally have and probably in that corner as well. This side will probably be podcast recording studio you guys know. That'll be a standing studio where the piano is. I probably want to put a, a photo area specifically. This corner will be for VR slash green screening which leaves us a lot of wall space for growth and expansion in other places uh, which should be should be really cool. Um, we'll probably put the TD engineering desk kind of in the middle so we can see all the sets, despite the fact that we have this one-way glass uh, that the church used for its kind of AV purposes. Uh, we'll walk through here into the other section. This is over there is just uh, HVAC, one of the HVAC units. And here is kind of utilities. You know, electric comes in here. This is probably where we'll have our internet drop come in as well when we get our fiber. As you can see here, this is where they uh, had their engineering kind of set up their audio set up here, which would be perfect for us, except that it can't really see the whole studio. Uh, and normally we have only two or three people here really working. So having one of them stuck back here, unable to participate, seems kind of dumb. We'll probably use this for storage and maybe we'll use it for uh, uh, server testing if something, if we want to close this door and shut off fan noise. And then over here, you've got like a little kitchenette area. Refrigerator will go there. And then this whole section is gonna be storage all the way down. So this whole wall will have shelves on it. This wall will have shelves on it. Uh, and you can see they did leave us, uh, I guess we co-opted a cross with a crown of thorns on it. Um, and then this room is kind of weird, weirdly placed. It's the only thing with like a drywall ceiling uh, and it's small and poorly lit. I'll probably end up lighting this up better and making this like, uh, hey, Emmeline needs to come and stay at the office for a few hours while we work and do stuff and she can hang out in here and we can put toys in here and I can put a futon in there and uh, take a nap when nobody's looking. And then as we walk past the cross through the storage area, you'll see that we just end up back here in the circle at our uh, shipping and receiving area. So that's it. That is where we are at on the studio. Hopefully we'll be able to finish painting uh, sometime mid this week. Get gray up top, maybe on bottom, set up in the site colors, uh, figure out how we're gonna patch that hole in the carpet, get the carpets cleaned and uh, start moving things in and building shelving units and getting all that ready. So uh, that's it everybody, we'll uh, update you later.